What's up, everybody? My name is Erin, and welcome to the Mad Maker Studio, and welcome back to episode three of The Dark Side Detective. Disorient Express. Case summary, Dooley has called me to the subway station to deal with an emergency. Start an investigation. I thought a lot about Officer Dooley's voice. I'm still going to wing it, but I think... You know, I'll settle into it eventually. Detective, you're here! Maybe he's more like a Yuya. Nah, I don't know. Officer Dooley. <laughs> I'll settle into a voice for you eventually. Just maybe not today. <clears throat> I came as soon as you called. What's the case? Case? No, I just needed a ride. Station's closed. Closed? Yeah, some spooky train is blocking the platform. Anyway, let's go. A spooky train? Yep, spooky train. Anyway, we better get going or we'll be late to work. Dooley, it's a spooky train. We're the dark side division. Do you not think? I try not to. That's detective work. Let's go have a look then. Fine, but if we miss the free donuts at work, you're buying. Are you sure we can't just go to work? I need to get up. I need to get my morning nap in. I can't say I'm surprised to find that something strange is happening here. Okay, nothing else to click on. Subway stairs. I've never ridden a subway. Seems to be working, but I've no cash. Time to put this badge to work and make use of my police privileges. Ooh, mm. That's a phrase that does not age well. Not as dumb as your grammar, kid. Yeah, kid. Dooley, did you write cops as dumb? Why would you do that? <laughs> Do you use the subway often? No, before we had the squad car, I tended to take taxis. <coughs> <coughs> what? What? Did you say something just then? What? Me? No, no, no. Sorry, detective. The barrier is broken. We have to crawl under it. Can't we at least jump over? No, the insurance for jumping was too high. We're only cleared for a slow crawl. Being a cop is nothing like television promised it would be. Oh, hello, ghostly conductor, but I'm, I'm gonna talk to this fellow over here first, Busker. Uncle Sam don't want you to know about the truth I'm here to show, so it makes me frown when I smell me a pig and his dumb sidekick come to shut me down. Thank you. Thank you. Please, everyone, hold your applause. Sidekick isn't a word. Poetic license. Oscar the Grouch. I thought his name was Busker. <laughs> Pig. Do you have a ticket, sir? Sorry, who are you? Trains conductor, sir. Right, you look a tad. Ghostly, sir, that I do, that I do. Are you a ghost? Not at all, sir. Ghosts are blue, for one, and they can't be seen, not without the proper equipment. No, we're from the dark side. Then what are you doing here? Train stuck, sir. Doing my job to keep the passengers safe while this gets rectified. Rectified? Yes, sir. I'm sure those boys from the bright side division are looking into it right now. Bright side division? Are they our, are they our rivals? Brightside Division. 
Right. Why are you here? As I said, sir, train's stuck. Not sure what caused it. Likely a problem with the tracks, sir. Would have to see inside the control rooms to be sure, but I can't leave my post here. Ticket? Thought not. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you solids to leave. Did you just call us solids? Certainly not, sirs. I wouldn't be throwing around language like that. Well, it sounds like you did. Goodbye. Come back anytime, sir. Okay, so, okay, we can continue on to the platform. Oh, yay. A plunger, but without the plungy bit. So, uh, stick then? Uh, we got a handle. <laughs> The control room is locked. For now. Dooley. Ah, come on, detective. You know as well as I do that how these things go. Hmm. There seems to be something in here. Oh, we got a receipt. A glowing gre green receipt that says, for pickup. I can't read much else on it. Okay, oh, two more of these, and I can have a mediocre juggling act. I don't know how to juggle either. I still can't understand how people do it. Oh, is that a rat in the bathroom? Yep. We scared it off. Hmm, I need to get my eyebrows plucked. Oh, I, I didn't mean to disturb you, sir, but uh, while we're here... Um, hi there. Oh, sorry, the door's unlocked. Yeah, lock's broken. I have no feet to hold against it. Right, well, uh, I'll leave you to it. Whoa, hold up, daddy-o. I'm in a bit of a funky situation. Maybe you could help me out? Uh, um, what is it? Stall has no toilet paper, daddy-o. And I'm a cat that needs him some. Yeah, sure, sure, we can look. Alright, I wonder if we're going to have to catch that rat, because he keeps just running away. Oh, that doesn't look normal. What on earth is that? Not sure, but I think we should send it back to wherever it came from. Blush? Oh, it might be a clue. I don't th oh, I don't think we can flush it. Yep, no use. You could say that it is intentical on staying where it is. Eh? 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 Get out, Dooley. Get out, Dooley. <laughs> Leave this stall right now. I need to find something to push it down with. I mean, do we want to? Eh, it doesn't feel right to me. Okay, maybe we need to assemble the rest of the plunger. Oh, toilet paper. Creepy or not, nobody deserves to be stranded without toilet paper. Oh, <laughs> just another flush for good measure, I guess. That noise reminds me of my career since I was assigned to the Dark Side Division. Damn, Dooley. The deep cuts. Here you go, guy. Sorry to leave leave you hovering for so long. All right, daddy-o. Here, take this coin as thanks. An occult coin, not ju just any coin, an occult coin. <laughs> an evil-looking coin about the size of a quarter. Can we use it for the um, cult gumball machine? Is there anything else in here? All right. Can we go... Uh, anywhere else. I wonder if this camera caught any useful footage, but I can see that the working light is painted on. Can I put the occult coin in the ticket machine? No. <laughs> There's not a chance in hell that this will work. 
Oh, but it did. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Of course. We got our ticket. The train ticket I purchased with the strange coin that Darksider gave me. Uh, here you are, sir. Here you go, one ticket. Fine. Oh, on you go then, I suppose. Well, hello there. Hiya. Where are you off to? I was on my way to San Frankenstein Cisco, obviously, but then we got stuck here. This place is terrifying. How so? Well, for a start, there's not a single screaming beast in the sky. Nobody is being followed by shadow men and nothing is on fire. Nothing. Maybe you're not the girl for me. Nanny Dooley, is that you? Sorry, dearie, I'm Granny Gooley. You do look like my little Patrick, though. My name's Patrick, too. Did you also like games of I Spy as a child? I did. I spy with my little eye the coming of the end, the world eating itself, rivers of gore flooding the streets. I don't... I don't know this version of the game. Oh, seeing the end times was little Patrick's favorite. Is this implying that everyone has a double? I like your glasses. Da, they're my party goggles. On your way to a party? Always, darling. Every place is a party place when I have my goggles on, and I always have my goggles on. Even here now, we party on the train. Sure. What, you, you got anything to say, Dooley? Everyone here is so sick looking. They're not sick, they're transparent. I can see right through them. I've always been impressed with your scrutiny skills. Oh, that's ominous. Ah, a dark side portal. My favorite. It appears we found our number one suspect for all these strange goings on. You have the right to remain silent when questioned. Anything you say or do may be. Dooley, what are you doing? Renit its rights. And how exactly do you intend to arrest it? With my handcuffs. Obviously. Top marks for enthusiasm, Dooley. Do we want to walk through the portal? Okay, so we have a green receipt for pickup. Hmm. We'll see if it'll let us walk through the portal right now. Ah, it did. Looks like the purple rift has an accomplice. I'm going to need a second pair of handcuffs. Agent McScream, McScream. You look familiar. Does the fire recognize the flame? Does the darkness recognize the shadow? Are you my double? Does the storm recognize the... the... Wind? Rain? Damn it, man, I've lost my train of thought. So you're an agent here, huh? We are all agents of the never-ending hunt. Servants of the crawling death void. Ministers of the world's cruelty. Well, I'm happy you're doing okay for yourself. Thanks. It's been a lot of hard work and late nights at the office. Any idea what's going on? Interlopers, fiends, fleshy monstrosities. Things that should not have come to pass. Tracks of chaos into wine. So, not much of an idea right now then. No. So, receding hairline, how's that treating you? The end comes for us all. 
Entropy is a cruel mistress. Yeah, let's hope it's from growing up in this weird hole. Uh, goodbye then. I'd best be going. We had all the best be going to the places we would best be at. Yeah. Oh, hey, Raxa. Finally, somebody in authority. Hey. Sorry, guy, but you don't know any more than the rest of us. Hi, detective. What's going on? Raxa, why are you here? I didn't expect to see you again this episode, so that's why I gave that other girl your voice. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Got in the train home from college. Then we got diverted to wherever this is. Well, we're on the case now, so get comfortable. Yay. He means... Nah, yeah, I get it. Let me know if I can help at all. Will do. Hello? Do daddy. I wonder if he even knows what's going on. Stay back, monster. Whoa, calm down. Sorry, I thought you were him. Him? The intense man in the tunnel who threatens to arrest and or eat anyone who gets off the train. Arrest or eat? Yep, and I'm not sure who chooses. What's going on here? You're not. You're not really him. You're really not him. I... I don't really know what happened. We left the last station on time, then some weird lights flashed, and now we're here. Whoever here is. Who's this man you keep talking about? He... He looks a bit like you, only not. Not at all, now that I see you. Properly see you, I mean. He stalks about outside this train, sniffing for clues and snarling when he sees us. Has he hurt anyone so far? Thankfully, no. He seems more menacing than dangerous. Goodbye. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Sorry about the mix-up earlier. <laughs> wow, his voice was a choice. <laughs> hey, Waster. Hey, dude. We've been on this train for ages. What's going on? I'm afraid, because I keep seeing floating green people. I'm not at liberty. <laughs> I think I indulged a little too much this morning, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you probably shouldn't tell me that. I'm an officer of the law. Yeah, but you're not like a, a regular officer. You're a, you're a dark side detective. I, I think there's a bit of a difference there. Far out, dude. Never mind. Uh, we can get out to the platform. I should probably stay with these people. Make sure they're okay. You're tired from walking through the tunnels, aren't you? Stop using your Sherlock powers on me. Ghost cop. Hmm. Now then, now then, now then, you look like you're one of those little living folk we got plotting about the place right now. Officer Dooley? Name's Gooley, chief of the Brightside Division. Brightside? Division specialists deal with threats from your neck of the woods, so to speak. My neck of the woods? The other world, that which from whence you came, son. I surmise from your appearance that you're a detective, albeit one down on his look. Hey. I presume that being the case, you've crossed over to investigate your world's version of the situation. I am. Can you help? No, son, I cannot. This, is, this isn't your jurisdiction. 
You should leave this to us professionals and take care of our train back in your own world. Shouldn't you look into that? Jurisdiction, son. Seems like a concept beyond a dangerous maverick such as yourself. Maybe I should slap you behind bars. Sing me a song, buddy. What? You're the busker, not me. I, I just jumped into him without thinking of a similar voice. Um. <clears throat> That's not how buskers work here, you tourist. I had to think about it. The janitor and Dooley sound too similar. Ah! That's okay. Is this... Is this machine crying? Okay, so can we... <laughs> I don't know if I want to go outside. <laughs> A dark patch of fuzzy mold. I think it's looking at me. Oh, great. That was an item to receive. Why? <laughs> Come get me from the station, he said. Routine, he said. Ass. Most of the dark side city appears to be in ruin. What horrors could possibly make the news here? <laughs> Mayor points off camera. Trains do not run on time. They run on fuel. Trains will also be late. Some things are universal, I suppose. Ooh, there's a shop. Ooh, we got a receipt for pickup. Amaze your friends, surprise your enemies, confuse real pirates with this inefficient pirate ensemble. Comes with a free press ganging. Be a badass biker, bike not included. Are you still a biker without a bike? Be a badass walker. <laughs> Assuming your ass is bad, either in a dangerous sense or the missing a buttock way, your call. Did you write these adverts yourself? No, sir. Came that way, sir. Good words, ain't they, sir? A snarky teenage wizard, wizard is welcome anywhere. Well, not so much welcomed as he'll turn up and then he'll be there and it's almost as much hassle to get rid of him as it is to just leave him be. <laughs> That's my usual party vibe anyway. So two thumbs up for me. An invisible person. Welcome, sir. It's our, that is to say, me and I's pleasure to welcome you to Costume Shop. So that is the name. Your broken sign wasn't very clear. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, my old fella said. And if it is broken, maybe don't fix it anyway, he'd add. Very practical man he was. How can I aid you, sir? Trying to intimidate your direct superior at work? Hoping to wow a six-armed lover? Tired of looking like a hobo. Hey. That's our motto. Whatever your shame, spiders got you covered. Can you help me out with this uh, pickup receipt? One tick, sir. Oh, miss. Miss Biscotti. I does beg your pardon, miss. I should have known. Obvious to me now it is. Sure, cool. I'll get... <clears throat> I'll get your items for you now, miss. Oh, um, yes, thanks. How did he know? There, hit. then here you go, miss. One swim cap. Just a single swim cap. <laughs> thanks, I guess. Oh, that'll make me bald, and then I use the mold as a beard? Um, let's go outside. Let's put this on. Oh, I need to find something to complete this disguise before I put it on. Do I need to combine it here? 
Now I guess I can dress up as Agent McScream whenever I want. Yay? Item received, bad disguise. Now what do I do with it? Should I put it on now? Uh, this doesn't feel like the right place to wear this. Okay, sure, I can respect that. Oh, nope, don't want to go back there. Let's go back down the subway stairs. Time to try this. I can't bring myself to call it a disguise. Time to try whatever this is out, I guess. Oh, we look so good. I had to step away for a little bit, so I've already immediately forgotten a lot of these voices that I did. Do you think, son, that I've not seen my share of disguises? This one is particularly poor, what with it particularly made up of some fungus and you lacking a certain floaty, transparent quality. Well, it was worth a shot. It was! I wish that agent I was sent was so innovative. I tell you what, son. In you go. Maybe you can solve this thing after all. What about jurisdiction? Ahem. <clears throat> jurisdiction. Oh, paperwork up a salute, shun. Now orf you up before I change my mind. <laughs> that hurt my brain. Right, thanks. Um. Okay. Am I still... I guess I lost my disguise. Oh, well. Into the control room. Ah, it's not locked over here. Oh, poster. Looks like he hung in there for too long. Who doesn't like having keys? Nice. All systems operating correctly. Escape. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, we got the key for the control room on the bright side, so we can go now, but let's check this bin. A note saying, she loathes me. She loathes me not. Nice, healthy relationship. It's nailed shut. Oh, for good reason. Uh, I hope that bearing holds. This place looks familiar. Either that's a clue or this is one lazy artist hanging around here. Huh. The water goes both clockwise and counterclockwise here. Seems to be something stuck in here. That's better. Thanks! Um, I mean, flush? Oh, we got the plunger. Okay, now we can, uh... The ultimate accessory in toilet debungification. Now we can, uh, go back to the bright side. Whoops. What's that you have there? It's... It smells of evidence to me. But... You shall not take it beyond this place. Looks like I'll have to put this key back until I find some other way to get it past him. What? Oh! I know how. I know exactly how. It doesn't matter which key I flush it down. I'm not sure that's the best course of action here. Looking good, Frankie! I think you've let yourself go. Shut up, Reflection. Wait, what? I feel like I should investigate this toilet further before feeding it keys. 
Okay, so let's put the key back. We're gonna have to do a little bit back and forth here. Someday you'll be mine, little key. Oh yes, you will be mine. Okay, we have a plan. Right, you little sucker. Ha! Sucker! Tentacles! Very good. Uh, I should be helping, shouldn't I? Oh, there it goes. I wonder where the wee fella is now. Oh, he's on the dark side. Is our floaty friend's still here, yes. Okay, so the our uh, the tentacle friend was in the second stall. So maybe we need to go to the second stall on the dark side. my little wriggly buddy so this is where I sent you eh? okay now we need to go grab the key give it to him flush him back down the toilet so sorry hold on to this for me will you buddy when I plunge you Dave remember that I plunge you with love Uh, we are on a roll now. Thanks, Dave. Did you name the tentacle Dave? Don't be jealous, Dooley. You're still my favorite. But not really. Now we can get into our control room. My gut says no on this one. What? Oh, no, sorry. Uh, I'm getting flip flopped. Because we were in the dark side and now we're in the bright side. OK, that seems to have worked. Let's see what's behind door number two. Hey, Engineer Tam, what you doing? What? How'd you get in? Tam locked that door from the inside. This is your handiwork, I take it. They shouldn't have fired old Tim for sleeping on the job. Told him he did, his black magic classes started at midnight and ran through. Morning shifts ain't for old Tam, heavy sleeper he is. Book him, Dooley. I love my book at the station, can I use these handcuffs instead? Oh my god, Dooley. Dooley. Were you the only one available to be my partner? Uh... People will think twice about firing old Tam now. They'll think twice about hiring you too. Wait, what? Uh, warning, virus detected, eject disc. An old floppy disc popped out. This must be how the virus was installed. Could prove useful. And now I wonder, we need to go back and put the cursed disc in the dark side. Three and a half inches of innuendo laden in evil. Get out of there, guy. I've seen what happens if you hang on for too long. What are you talking about? I've seen things, Dooley. Stay here, Dooley, and make sure this guy doesn't get away. Well, then how is old Tam meant to escape? 
that's that's the point. Oh well, taint fair. No thanks, I don't want to go back out there. What? I thought we needed to... Do we need to talk to Agent McScream? Nope. What do I do with the cursed disc? Not sure that's the best course of action here. That's why I thought if I could go to the... control room again... Hmm... In case of fire, pray somebody has refilled the extinguisher. They have not. Oh, maybe I talked to Raxa. Raxa, think you can make any sense of this? Let me see. Oh, this is an occult virus. Yeah, I think it's to blame for all that's going on. I can probably talk you through how to make an antivirus on my machine. That's what I was hoping for, thanks. So, what do I do? You need to clean the infection disk sectors. Sounds easy. Not so easy. It's a virus, so each sector you clean will infect those around it. You can also lure the virus from infected sectors onto clean ones, cleaning the infected areas. Why would I do that? To beat the virus, you have to make sure it has nowhere to hide. That will involve tricking it. This sounds harder than I was expecting. Don't worry, I made it back up. Just hit reset if you need me to roll back so you can start again. Thanks. Okay, let's do this. Boom! Okay, I think that's it. Okay, great. And you're sure this will work? Sure is a strong word when dabbling with the occult, but I think so, yes. Ro Raxa, you are the best. The actual best. I hope to see you in other cases. Uh, by the way, um, if Officer Dooley ever um, leaves the job, I think you would be a great fit for the Dark Side Division. Just, just throwing that out there. Well, if it does, the city owes you big time. Really? Because I'm only on this train due to a mountain of parking tickets. I see. Now we got the antivirus disc. Maybe I need to do it from out here. Uploading antivirus now. Great work, detective. You got the trains moving again. Dooley, you understand what just happened here, right? No. Let's get this guy to the cells. <laughs> How are you gonna get me there? Train ain't running. We just... We just talked about how that was fixed. Weren't you listening? Uh... Plus, we have this car. This has not been a good day for Tam. Case closed, baby. Oh, yeah. Woo! All right, well, I'm going to leave this episode of The Dark Side Detective here. Thank you so much for joining me. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye!